everybody. I'm Margaret Lewin and welcome to Margaret Lewin Quilting. I wanted to give you an update from the survey that I did on Monday regarding what we were going to do as far as projects go for 2017. And I will tell you, I was overwhelmingly surprised by the fact that what you'd like to do are designs that I have designed or patterns that I've designed. And so first off, I want to say thank you to everybody. And um, it means a lot to me that you like my designs. This is the very first one that we're going to do. This one is for January, February, and March. And this is a quilt I designed and my daughter Jacqueline made. And this is Olivia's quilt. And I think that's exactly what it is that we're going to call it, is Olivia's quilt. So this quilt, what we're going to use to make it our fat quarters. And I'm going to actually try, because of the name of the sew along for 2017 is called Quilt of the Quarter, I'm going to try really hard to design patterns that are used or easily you can use fat quarters. Only because I thought it would be nice we can use up those fat quarters that we've got in our stash. It's really easy to make a scrappy, scrappy quilt out of fat quarters. So I thought that's what we would do. Now, I'm going to be using the line called, I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm going to be using the line called Hubba Bubba. This is a fat quarter bundle that I've had in my studio for quite a while, and I just felt that it was time to use it up. If you don't have Hubba Bubba, the, and you want to make one very similar to mine, what you're going to want to get is a fat quarter bundle by me and my sister, for Moda Fabrics and it's called Rainy Days. And I'll stick a picture of the fabric line up there of both the Hubba Bubba and the Rainy Days. Now, if you would like the Rainy Days and you cannot find it at your local quilt shop, I will on my website have the ability for you to pre-order a fat quarter bundle. Now it comes with 40 fat quarters so it's more than enough to make any size quilt that you want to. And I'm going to go over the fabric requirements in just a minute. Um, I'm also going to be using, I believe, a Bella Solid White for the white blocks. Now on this one, we used more of a, um, it's not a stark white, it's a, it's a softer white. So that's what we used on this one. But we're going to actually use a, a bright white only because of the tones of the fabric that I'm using. It'll look better with a bright white. I'm looking at my notes here. For those that want to order the rainy days, it's a pre-order, so you're going to pay for it um, up front, and I would expect that I should have it in stock probably in about a week. So it will be by, I would expect, the first full week in February that I would have it. I'm going to leave it open for pre-ordering for one week and then that's it. I have to close it only because I've got to get the order in and get it shipped to me. And the price of that fat quarter bundle, and it's 40 fat quarters, is $135.99. Now you may be able to find it someplace else cheaper on the, on the internet. I don't know. I haven't searched it out any place. I just know what I can do. So. That's the information on that. Now, one of the things that I'm really excited about with this quilt, these are all my notes, is that not only, not only are we going to be able to make this, we are also going to be able to make a matching pillowcase. And I'll open it up so that you can see. Um, I hope my daughter doesn't watch this only because she doesn't know that I did this for Olivia. So here's Olivia's matching pillowcase. I'll flip it around so that you can see the other side. And I've actually done two of them for her. Whoop, it's got some threads on it. Imagine that. So that's what we're going to be making. I'm going to set that aside. Now, if you want to make the following sizes, if you want to make a throw size quilt, you're going to need nine fat quarters plus seven eighths of a solid fabric. If you want to make a twin, which is 63 by 72. The throw is 54 by 54. But if you want to make a twin, which is 63 by 72, 
you're going to need 14 fat quarters and one and seven eighths of a solid fabric. If you're going to make a queen size, which is what this one is, you're going to need um, a queen is 90 by 108. You're going to need 30 fat quarters and two and five eighths solid fabric. And in this, as I said, is a queen and the pillowcase fabric is not in this. I'll give you that later on. And the king is 108 by 117 and you're going to make need 39 fat quarters for that one. So this will make up to a queen size quilt. With the king size, you won't have enough left over to do the pillowcase. Or you could get the 39 fat quarters and you could make two twin size quilts and you would have enough for two queen size quilts plus two pillowcases, all right? The king size, it's 39 fat quarters plus one, or I'm sorry, three in one quarter of the solid, all right? I will list all of this in the description box. So if you didn't follow me, you can go there and see what it says. So that's what we're gonna do. And to get started, the very first thing you're going to do is get pressing your fabric. So I did do a couple of clips of me pressing it. I used my Mary Ellen's Best Press. I get the scent free version only because of my asthma. Some days the scented stuff bothers me, so I figured I was better off just going with the scent free. So I got the scent free Mary Ellen's Best Press. I used that all the way through um, pressing all of these. I'm going to show you how I pressed them. So here we go. you've got all of your fat quarters it's time to go over to the cutting table and get them all cut up now I wanted to give you a pre-warning I am cutting all 40 of mine up even though I don't need all 40 I'm gonna probably make the queen size so I only need 30 of them but I am gonna go ahead and cut up the rest of them because what I will do at this stage once I get them all cut the quilt's done, I'll put them away in my stash. So when I'm ready to make a really scrappy quilt, these will just be added to it. And I don't have fat quarters laying around that I have nothing to do with. So I'm gonna take you on over to the cutting table and let's get our pieces cut and get our quilt started. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna cut these two at a time. So I'm gonna start with two fabrics. These are the two that I've got. I'm gonna lay them out. And I'm just going to use my cutting board to line them up so that I can get them square. So that's my first step. I'm going to take them down to the 10 inches on my cutting mat because I can keep you in frame at that point so that you can see pretty much what I'm doing. It might be a little bit off, but you can see pretty good what I'm doing. I'm going to take, I'm going to use really um, three different rulers here, okay? So don't, I mean, you don't have to, it's just I got them. So it makes it a little bit easier for me. I've got my Creative Grids rulers. I gotta scooch this down just a little bit more. It's a real technical term there. So I've got it all laid out on the cutting mat. So that's the first thing that I'm gonna do. So here it is all laid out, all right? And I'm gonna trim it up. It's always my first cut is to get things trimmed. I'm gonna trim this off, and then I'm gonna start my cuts. My very first cut on every set of fat quarters is going to be my two and a half inches. So I've got my ruler, and I'm using my guides on my cutting board and on my ruler to make certain that I'm straight. So this is my first cut and it's two and a half inches. This is my binding. Okay, so that goes into one pile. 
My next count is going to be nine. Now I don't have a ruler that's nine inches wide. So I'm going to take two rulers. All right. I'm going to line this one up a little bit, not totally. I'm going to flip this over so I've got my half and my half. That's one of the reasons why I love creative grids. I'm going to put it together and then I'm going to double check by counting. And I know this is monotonous, but we don't want to make a wrong cut. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's what I want my second cut to be is nine inches. So I'm going to cut that one at nine. Do my cut. Then I'm going to take and I'm just going to slide my ruler right underneath that cut. And I'm going to set that one aside because I don't need that one for a few minutes. Now my last cut is going to be five inches. So I'll turn my ruler around. So I've got my five, right? And I'm going to make that cut. So there goes my five. This is scrap because it's not big enough to do anything. All right. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to turn my five inch around and smooth it out. And again, I'm using my cutting mat just as a lineup guide. Okay. I'm lining that up in my first cut is going to be to remove my salvage. So let's get that done. So I'm going to remove my salvage. And there goes my salvage. And now I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to lay it the length, all right, of my five inch strip. I'm going to start at 20 because that just about takes up the whole thing. I'm going to line it up. I'm going to cut off my excess. When I cut off my excess, I'm just going to flip it over to make sure that I was able to get both fabrics because I'm cutting two layers at once. That's now garbage. So I'm going to slide this down to 15. I'm going to make another cut as soon as I get it straight. Then I'm going to go to 10. And then I'm going to go to five. And my five inch squares are done. I'm going to add those to my pile of five inches. And now I'm going to grab back my nine inch strip. Okay. That's my next one. I'm going to put that ruler away. And I'm going to do just what I did before. I'm just using my cutting mat to line me up. I'm going to turn my ruler and I'm going to make my next cut. So there goes my salvage. That's my first cut. And now I'm going to switch to my 12 and a half inch ruler. And really the only reason why I'm switching to it is because it's condensed. It's obviously square and it's easy for me to see the numbers on it. And it's easy for me to work with it. And it's nine inches. I can do a nine inch square. So I'm going to take it down and I'm going to line it up. And you can see I've got it lined here, here, and here. So by switching to this 12 and a half inch ruler, I can get all four sides pretty square. So here's one cut. And slide my ruler down and slide this out. Then pick it up and lay it down beyond my nine inches. Here's my nine inches right here. And I lay it but beyond my nine inches. That way I'm taking it back. Instead of pushing it this way, I could really disturb my fabric by, by going that way. I, for some reason, I just seem to not disturb my fabric as much. And there's my second cup. All right. So there are my nine inch blocks. I'm going to keep doing that for all of my fat quarters. 
and you guys get cut in yours and I'll see you when we get done. Okay. I'm going to get back to working on getting my fat quarters cut out and your job for the next couple of days is to decide what fabric you're going to use for your quilt and you can start thinking about the size that you want to make. I will leave all of the dimensions in the information box below so that you can take a look at it and see what it is that you want to do. If you do want to order the Rainy Days line of fabric, then pop on over to my website and pre-order it, and I will get that shipped out to you as soon as I possibly can. And other than that, I think that's it for today. So I'll see you again next week, and next week we are going to get our yardage cut. So those of you that have a difficult time cutting yardage this is going to be a good refresher course for you on how to do it and if we have enough time we will also start working on piecing our new quilt so i hope you join me again next week for more on olivia's quilt and i hope you're having a great day if you haven't already please do subscribe so that you get an update every time i post something onto YouTube, and thanks so much for joining me. I hope you're having a great day. Go have some fun sewing, because that's what I'm doing. See you later. Bye.